I'm gonna cross my leg, get a little comfortable here. Bring it up. What the hell? <laughs> What the hell? Is, what the hell is this? Ravenous Chupacabra is what it is. 2BB22 Beast Horror on theme with the pirate, dinosaur, vampire. What other thing? What other tribe is in this set? Pirates. Pirates, vampires, dinosaur, merfolk. merfolk. Uh, theme. When this enters the battlefield, destroy target creature and opponent controls. Not destroy target, non black, non artifact creature, and opponent controls. Destroy target creature, and opponent controls. Beast Horror. All right, take it away. So, the watch is off. You should read Patrick Chapin's article from a couple of weeks ago. Okay. Uh, he's a, a colleague of mine out in Denver. Uh, and he wrote an article speaking to um, what he believes are sort of systemic flaws in the way that Standard has been designed and developed over the last couple of years. Okay. I think it's a very thoughtful article. It's worth a read. I, I agree with, with much of what he presented there. Where can you read that? StarCityGames.com, premium side. There we go. When you develop the format around, when, when you decide Toolcraft Exemplar is a card you're going to be making, okay. that puts a lot of pressure on your removal. And when there's a lot of pressure on your removal to be very good, mm -hmm. it puts the format in uh, the types of threats that get played land in two spots. There are things that are really cheap and things that are uh, good against removal. Okay. Either because you can't kill them or because they generate value coming in or going out. So it enters the battlefield abilities, leaves battlefield abilities. Haste. Sure. People talk a lot about energy and the cards being powerful, and that's part of what's going on. Okay. But also part of what's going on is the threats in the deck are all that. It's Long Tusk Cub, and then it's all Bristling Hydra and the Scarab God, which you can't kill, Glorybringer, which has haste, mm -hmm. and the three drops. Rogue Refiner and Virtuoso, which do things. Which you don't care if they get killed, because yep. they're, they're generating something yep. uh, when, when they occur. It's really fun to play with cards that are a little bit expensive that involve investment and risk. Baneslayer Angel gets brought up a lot as that kind of card, where sometimes you play it and you run away with the game. Your opponent can't kill it, and it's just you're coasting. Yep. Sometimes what happens is they kill it and you're actually behind. They used a Doom Blade and cast a divination. Sure. And now you're, it's actually bad that you cast this. The, the, the range of the card going anywhere from bad because it, it, it lost value on the way to I've won the game and all the things that happen in the middle, that's really good, that's really replayable. These creatures that are all just summon, draw a card, and jackal pups are closer to this. They are less replayable all over time. And Ravnus Chupacabra is the exact type of card that makes sure the Bane Slayers can't show up in decks. Yes, to totally agree. And the, totally agree. And Sanders already too long on the Bane Slayers not being good enough to play in decks because of the uh, of putting a lot of power in Rogue Refiners and Jackal Pups, which puts a lot of pressure on the way your removal shapes, mm -hmm. which then makes it so all these cards that are the most fun cards to play with, I think, generally speaking, the ones that are dynamic from game to game, yep. that involve risk and investment from game to game, just can't be played. It's especially dubious to do in a tribal block, when you would ideally like decks that are full of synergistic creatures, like when I have this one dinosaur and this other dinosaur, <laughs> this cool thing happens. You'd like to think that some of those cards and decks would be good enough to show up. You know what, Ravnus Chupacabra is really Those decks are done. Dinosaurs. My bad merfolk, along with my couple of sweet merfolk lords, builds a deck. I'm interested in playing with some mer merfolk that might be objectively not very powerful because the tribal synergies are such that it's worth it. Yep. It's worth the risk. Not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Not anymore because yep. your Lord of Atlantis gets killed and now you have a bunch of curse catchers in play or yep. whatever, whatever the cards are. I don't... Even even with Necrotal, which is uh, or Flame Tongue Kavu, which are these historic examples of exactly this kind of thing, at the minimum you can say, well, Flame Tongue Kavu says put some five toughness in your deck. It's not a whole lot. It's something. But it's so, it's, it's something. something. It's, it's something. something. It's yep. something. It cares about something. Yep. Uh, Necrotal says, eh, play with black creatures. Play with and, artifacts. And it has first strike. So yep. there's actually some play on the table to it. Yep. it. It plays differently against a bunch of two twos than it plays against, you know, uh, uh, two, three, uh, two threes and three threes, what mm -hmm. have you. This is the most texture and text box agnostic execution of this sort of thing that you could possibly do. 
it's all the wrong things. It happens to be good with the scare of God. Which is not That's great. That's going to be, get get ready for that. That's, get ready for that. We're, we're, we're going to watch that a lot get in ready, Dallas. Get ready. You know, it's really good to get back with your unkill. It's just a terminate out of the <laughs> graveyard. That's, that's, that's the thing to get back. It just, there are a lot of, there are designs that, that like, I would at least, they look, they look, Dubious to me, you know the the, the rare dinosaur that seal the plague wind. I forget it. Yeah, yeah, the, the one where you pay a black reveal at the counter. That's yeah. a sketchy design, but I would at least want to ask what was the process behind this? Because the flavor is kind of sweet. It's a rare dinosaur. There's some justification. There is some tension and drama in the gameplay to that card. Oh yeah. So even though I think it's probably not the most fun design to promote, there's enough positive things going on there that I would want to have the conversation about why did you execute it this way? This is just it's all the bad things it's all the things that are already too good the answers to it are all the things that are already too good all the cards that you wish you could play and are never good enough all loose of this thing it, it just defies i, I don't understand I, there's no explanation for it that could make that makes any could sense it, to could me. It at least be a vampire Something. Like, why, is it some, a, why is it like a dog out? Just, it, just make a vampire and have it say non-vampire. Yeah. It's still all the bad things, but at least there's some there's something to latch onto about it. Yeah. There's some flavor to it. There's some element of deck building on the other side of the table. There's nothing to this other than the game's already just playing value and flame tongue each other every single turn of the game with the teamer energy deck. Yeah. And this is this is just more of the same of that. Yeah. No, that's when I when wouldn't I read this. Cool, wouldn't it be cool if that Sphinx was good enough to play? Yeah. Where you play it and you cross your fingers hoping to untap. Tap. And if I untap, it's awesome. And if my opponent has a particular answer, it's actively bad for me. That's that's drama and tension and gameplay. And, and instead, it's just no. Of course, I'm playing with Torrential Gear Hulk. I'm not going to commit something to uh, to the table on my main phase that requires me to tap out and doesn't generate any immediate value. Why would I ever do that? Because yeah, you're going to you're going to get, you're gonna get max punished if you do I'm that. Gonna, and I, I really wish we were sculpting a world where things like the Sphinx were the finisher that you wanted and not Torrential Gear Hulk. Yeah. Where it, you played with some f some five-mana flyer, so some, fo some awesome four-mana dinosaur or whatever, where you wanted to get to the next turn to start leveraging an advantage instead of just playing like, yeah, this is this thing that summons and makes three energy and I make a Thopter even if you kill it. I'll draw a card off a cantrip. The guy. This thing has haste. I'll kill your thing. That's like all the, all the play is immediacy. There's nothing about investment and drama and suspense. And this is just more, more invalidation of that class of cards, which is already so underrepresented in standard over the last couple of years. Don't understand it. It's tough because this thing is going to show up in standard a lot. And it's going to be really At good. At least you'll sell a lot of packs because it's uncommon. Nice. You'll but move you, a lot. Of, yeah. You'll, you, you know they should buy their packs. Starsteams.com. Dot com. So it yeah. doesn't. I, I don't. It's. I, I don't even understand a, a justification for it. It's. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with that card. Chances of it seeing, seeing a lot of play being very good. Going to be very four, high. Four X throughout its lifespan. Very high. If it's not four X, there are other bigger problems. That's true. That's it's true. Like, oh, because they, the 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 uh, the best deck in the format is search for its content control with four X pull from tomorrow, and it wins with two copies of the gain seven and kill you when I play the second time. Sure, sure. So, I can't, yeah. so I can't play four triple copies <laughs> yeah, in sure, my deck list sure. because that's the best. That's sure. the scenario where it's not 4X. And in any other realistic scenario, it's it's 4X and it's just, all right, the format's more more creatures that summon and do something immediately, more jackal pups and, and more creatures you can't kill. No. Yeah. More yeah. of that. You know what? We haven't, had a, we haven't had a lot of that be good in standard. You know what? Uh, it's probably not very good in limited, so it'll be fine. Oh, and that's the other thing. Wait for all the limited articles to come out and be like, this is better than any rare or mythic in the set. Yeah, it's probably This fine. is the best thing you can open. It's probably fine.